Chris, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do the Never Will I Ever book tag. I was tagged to this tag by RC over at Neck of the Book Lock. I'm gonna have a link to his channel and his video down below so you can check him out. The tag was created by the Irish Reader, so I'll have a link to the original as well. And yeah, this looked like a pretty fun tag. I'm glad to finally getting around to it because I meant to do it a very long time ago, but here I am doing it now. So let's just jump into these questions. Pick a book or series OTP that you will never ship. So there's probably a lot of things I could think of for this, but off the top of my head, I gotta feel like from things that I've read, the first thing that pops in my head is a book that no one really has read, um, but it's the main pairing for that book. So it is a lot of people's OTP. And it is Max and Ethan and the Evolution of Ethan Poe, which I'm not going to go get from my shelf right now. But I'll put a picture up here. This book is a book that I really loved, but I have a lot of issues with this pairing. Um, just the way that Max treats Ethan in large sections of the book and also the way that Max treats Ethan's friends. Um, he, he's just kind of a messy character. And I feel like Ethan deserves better. And even though like he apologizes for some of the stuff that he does in the book, um, by the end of it, I still wasn't really for that pairing and people really ship that apparently who have read the book Because um, I've looked in different tags and stuff. So I'll go with that For this one Because I can't think of anything else besides maybe oh I have another one actually which is probably more of an unpopular opinion <laughs> It's Anna and Etienne St. Clair from Anna and the French Kiss because um, of that whole messy situation and the way that their relationship starts building while he's kind of in a relationship with someone else and I don't like that. So yeah, there you go. I also didn't like that book very much at all either, so there's that. Number two is Never Will I Ever Forget This Ending. There are probably several books this ending I will never forget, but I'm one that's popping into my head right now is Half Lost. The end of the Half Bad, Half Wild, Half Lost, that trilogy by Sally Green. I feel that I, and it's, it's, in a, it's in a bad way. Like I really have so many issues with the way that that series end. I feel like not only with a death that's in the end of that series, but also just the way that the plot resolves in the end of that third book, it just was such a letdown for me. Um, and yeah, just no, just no, no, no. I'm not gonna forget it because in a very bad way, it ruined the entire trilogy for me. It's just, ah. Never will I ever get over this character death. So I'm not going to name the character, um, but I'm going to say it is the last significant character death in A Fire and Stars by Audrey Coltherse. Um, I feel like it's significant. Like, the last death that's significant to one of the main two characters. I'll say it that way. Like, it's very, it's very significant for those characters. It really, I feel like this character died in order to give the main two characters a reason to do what they do at the end of the book and I feel horrible about that because I really thought that character didn't deserve to go out that way. I think one of the reasons why I can't get over it is just that it was very a pretty gruesome death in my head like I envisioning it and I just feel like the character had so much potential to do anything else. I still love the book. I gave the book five stars. It's just that that death was like very heavy on me essentially. Never will I ever stop crying over this book. I have a lot of books that I've cried while reading. Um, but I feel like the only one that will always make me cry is More Happy Than Not Bad and Severa. Um, that book, you guys, it, it's just, it's like an emotional roller coaster, and I feel like I cried at multiple points in that book, to be honest. Um, and I feel like anytime I think about certain aspects of the books, I get kind of in a teary mood. And I also saw a video where someone was talking about certain aspects of the books and with the main character of Aaron, and I was just, yeah. I was just ready to ball again. Like, it's just a book that makes me cry. Never will I ever read this book or series. There are a lot of answers I can give for that. Like, Ender's Game from Orson Scott Card, because the author is a horrible person. And let's see, I'm probably never going to be reading. I don't even know the name of the series, but it's a Cure Cast book, and there's a girl on the cover and a gown, and it's so people compare it to, like, The Bachelorette, but, like, in a dystopia. And I'm just like, no, no, no. That Zero interest in that. Um, the Court of Mist and whatever. I'm probably never going to be reading that series. I'm probably never going to continue the Throne of Glass series. I did not like that first book enough. Um, and it was a struggle to get through a large portion of it. So no, that's not happening. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of things. I could keep going, but I'm not going there. In the opposite direction, never will I ever stop raving about this book or series. And there's a lot of things I will 
could do for that one, like Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, Last Thing Leaving by Caleb Rorick, um, Boy Meets Boy by David Levithan, just because of the time period when it came out and because of the significance the book had for me. Um, the Wrong Possibility by David Levithan. I could just keep going down David Levithan books. Two Boys Kissing by David Levithan. Um, but yeah, what else? Um, Redefining Realness, fantastic memoir, one of my favorites. Um... Aristotle and Dante discover secrets in the universe. Although I guess I've kind of stopped raving around it as much. It's been a bit, but like just because there's been other books, but I still, when people bring it up, I'm just like, yes, I love that book. It was amazing. So we're going to throw that in there too. And several Rick Rowan books, to be honest. I really, really enjoy the um, Heroes Olympus and Percy Jackson series. Heroes Olympus is a little bit more than Percy Jackson for me, just because I don't know. Maybe it's because when I read, got around to reading the series, I don't know, but I enjoy Heroes Olympus a lot more. Um, so yeah, and I really love his new series too, so I kind of rave about those books quite a lot. Never want to ever lend out this book or to a friend. I don't lend out any of my books to my friends, just period, because I lend out a book in high school. I never got it back. I, it was The Will of the Empress by Tamora Pierce. I still don't have a copy of The Will of the Empress by Tamora Pierce anymore because I lent out that copy and I'm so bitter about it. Like I am completely still bitter about it. And I am not lending out my books to anyone. I don't lend out my books to my sister, usually. Um, if I'm, if my sister wants to read a book that I have, I'll just get her her own copy. Like, I'll buy a copy for her. Or, cause, or I'll give her a copy of a book that I don't plan on getting back. Like, I already read it and I don't want, need it on the shelf. I'll give her that. Um, my boyfriend doesn't really read a lot of the books on my shelf very often. I think um, the one book on my shelf that he wants to read is something that I got from, like, for free anyway so it's gonna be like whatever that i haven't even read it so like generally i don't lend out books to anyone never will i ever not tag you so you're supposed to tag someone that you tag a lot i guess for this one and i feel like a lot of people that tag a lot have already been tagged to do this or have already done it and uh, so if you have done this already sorry that i don't know if di I, that i wasn't aware that you hadn't done it does that make sense yeah whatever <laughs> anyway i'm gonna say rachel hobson um, Cheyenne Prescott and Tanner from Tanner's Books and Beyond. I feel like all of you may have done this tag already. And I just, in my brain, just drawing a blank on who else to tag because I feel like I don't know who's done this. But if you if I'm tagging you, just because I always tag you, I love all of you. And if you already done it, that's cool. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, tell me what you what some of your answers to the questions are because I'm gonna have the questions linked in the box down below so you should tell me what some of your answers would be tell me what you thought of my answers whatever I will see you all in my next video bye